was about five or six years old, I loved working with clay. I loved making all kinds of animals, whales, sharks, lions and tigers, elephants, and you know, I like to make. I made them with an oil-based clay that I could always, you know, make them. But then when I got bored with them, I just roll them up in a ball and make up a new, new items or new animals. And I've been doing that ever since. Uh, I just I love I love the all kinds of animals like lions and tigers and elephants and I always loved like animals on the African plains and so I always wanted to model those or I love the the whales and the sharks you know like sperm whales and things you think of like Moby Dick I try to make that or I try to make a great white shark which is a very unique unique looking animal and with all those teeth and everything and you know I think when you're a kid you like to see the, the biggest and the baddest and things and that's what I would try to model things after. I'm self-taught so what I've done is just over the years read books about it and it, I did have a book that is how to draw animals and mm -hmm. I think I had shown this earlier it shows you like the muscle and skeletal structure of the animals which is very important it's like when you're building a house you want to build the frame first and then you want to build all the, the outside of the house and put the roof and everything on it. Yeah so, so sometimes I would I get a lot of wildlife books and magazines and I used to when I would look at those and then I would think of an idea or an inspiration and say okay I think I'd like to try that and you know like the, the moose sculpture that I had shown you earlier the uh, I there was a, like a, an animal book that it had and showed like this moose raising up on his hind legs and all these wolves surrounding him and I said I'd love to do a scene like that see what to what level I could take my sculpture and that's when I that's what inspired that particular scene yeah create a visual story so you want to tell a story you know and it's something that occurs in the woods every day you know between wolves and moose and and uh, you know, I know that I've been to some art shows years ago, and kids would love to look at these scenes because there's so many details in them, and there's so many things you can see. And yes, I, I uh, since 2013, I've been uh, making shows on Mansfield Cable Access. I've made over 120 shows. I've made all kinds of dinosaurs, T-Rex, Triceratops, Stegosaurus. I've made a lion head, tiger head, elephants, whales, swan duck and uh, what I do is I start off with clay balls and then I show and then I might, will make like the, the body and then I'll make if I'm gonna make a bird I'll make like the wings and then I will use like a toothpick or I'll use um, it's uh, tin foil sometimes to make the textures and things on the clay so you can see it and uh, what I used to do is on a lot of my earlier shows is I would make the sculpture I'd make three versions I make the finished version I'd have a version that I would do on the show, and then I'd have another version that I would paint, and I would actually paint it with simple paints to show you how to paint it. But recently I've been doing a lot of work where I take something called Sculpey 3, it's already colored, and I actually make up the sculpture that way, so I don't have to do anything with the painting anymore. So, Yeah, I was, I was working on this for a client. It's, uh, it's made out of super Sculpey clay. What I would do is I'd make the armature, and an armature you would make it with wire, so these, this armature wire you'd insert in the legs so it would hold up. And then I'd also take tin foil, crinkle it up so I could make the body. Then I would put super sculpty clay around, which is this clay right here. And I'd wrap that around the form. And then I would take the colored sculpty 3 clay and put that over that. And then I would create all the textures and things with the fur, the nose, the eyes, and the mouth. And, and uh, it's a pretty a unique looking dog and uh, I love doing this kind of work and it's very detailed and uh, what I'd like to do is I, I do like making people's pets I can make cats dogs if somebody has a uh, they want a lion made up or a tiger I can do any kind of animal or I could do any kind of scene that you would want to see and uh, you know and that this year when once it's made you fire it in the oven at 275 for 15 to 20 minutes and uh, then it will be completed. And then I did also get some Tully Awards for my show. I have a couple of them here. One is at the Wellesley Free Library right now. And this is given for outstanding shows on cable access. And uh, you know, I was very happy when I got them. The same people that make up the, uh, the Oscars and things in Hollywood make up these awards here. If you go up to YouTube, you can put it under Creations in Clay or you can put it under my name, Louis Palladini, and all my shows will come up. I am currently teaching with Michaels in Mansfield Crossing right now, and I will teach people how to make sculptures. I have a few here as examples that I can show you. I would probably like this here as a parrot, 
and I would show you how to make this from start to finish starting off with the clay balls. I'm just going to rotate it so you can see what it looks like. And what I like about the, my techniques is anybody can make the same level that I can in this particular parrot. Now, I could make a much better parrot, but I try to gear it towards the beginning sculptor or somebody that's never really worked with clay before. I also did a killer whale, and I plan to do that. And you, you would be able to go to michaels.com, and, and they have a thing about the classrooms. On, there's like a little link there, and then you click on that, and then you'd scroll down, and you would see my uh, sculptures and my name. And then you'd just sign up for the class. Yes, I grew up, I was born and raised in Wellesley, and uh, I went all through the Wellesley High School system, graduated class of 81, uh, kind of a little on the older side now. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed being there, and it was it's a really nice town. Um, currently, <coughs> currently, what I'm trying to do is get more exposure, like a place like the Wellesley Free Library, uh, tell me if somebody's some up doing something in the Attleboro Art Museum, and, and just advertising through social media showing people what I can do and uh, what I'd like to eventually do is you know, transition to this as a full-time career and uh, you know the I figure I like to make people's pets you know it could be dogs and cats I also do other types of sculptures if somebody has an idea like a woman wanted a, a dental sculpture made up for her brother because he was retiring so what I did is I made up an animated dental tooth and then I had him put arms and legs on him and then I had him working with a dental tool on the, uh, another tooth in the gums and things and it was really cool the way I had done it. So I, I do have the ability to make up a variety of sculptures and if somebody comes up with something they can commission me for it and I can do that for them. That's what I'm looking to do. I mean when you see my sculptures there at the Wellesley Free Library that's just a, an example of some of the things I could do but I can do many other things too if people want it.